What are some very creepy facts? Elmer McCurdy was a failed Old West outlaw. His preserved body was put on display in a traveling carnival and years later he was eventually assumed to be mannequin until he was used on set for the TV show The Six Million Dollar Man. His arm accidentally fell off during the shoot, revealing bone and muscle and that he was a corpse, not a mannequin. The guy died in 1911, but it was only in 1976, 65 years later, that they discovered he wasn't a mannequin, but a petrified corpse covered in wax. This is creepy indeed. Imagine being totally aware of someone preforming CPR but you physically can't move or respond. Well that's what happens when you get bitten by a blue ringed octopus, you have approximately 6 minutes between being bitten and someone starting CPR to keep your heart and lungs functioning to ensure you survive, all whilst being totally aware of what is happening to you. Neurotoxins are fun. The really creepy thing about this is one story of a guy who got stung, got CPR performed on him and survived, but went blind because he was lying on his back, eyes open, unable to blink because of the paralysis, staring into the sun. Imagine lying there, unable to move, unable to communicate, the sun slowly burning out your eyes and you can't shut them. The human body can be drained of blood in 8.6 seconds given adequate vacuuming systems. Not everyone can afford a Dyson. The astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger most likely didn't pass until they hit the water miles below the initial explosion. Astronaut and NASA lead accident investigator Robert Overmeyer said, I not only flew with Dick Scobby, STS-51 leader commander, we owned a plane together, and I know Scob did everything he could to save his crew. Scob fought for any and every edge to survive. He flew that ship without wings all the way down, they were alive. One reason that crows and ravens are associated with death is because they would often follow armies as they marched to battle. Being both carrion birds and extremely intelligent, they realized that a large group of armed men marching on one direction meant that there would be a tasty meal of corpses to eat soon afterwards. That's actually pretty neat. I'd like to subscribe to Crow Facts thanks. Many delicious eyeballs to feast upon. There's a spider that gives you a 3 hours long boner, before you die from its bite. If it bites you you might as well dick slap it into next week. After aping his blindfolded victims, the Golden State Killer would be super duper quiet and pretend like he was gone and right when the poor victims would start to move towards the phone or try to untie themselves he would scare the fucking shit out of them. After listening to the many hours of his crimes being listened in court today, this is just a cherry on the horrible cake that is to Angelo. I once read that you should play dead if a bear attacks you, unless they start licking your wounds because that means they plan to eat you. That still haunts me to this day. Edit, if it helps I'm pretty sure I was reading about grizzly bears at the time during one of my fevered grizzly man rabbit holes. If it's black fight back, if it's brown, grizzly, lie down. Your brain can play tricks on you to make you see monsters in the mirror, called the Troxler effect. The Troxler effect is an optical illusion that affects how you perceive things, both visually and mentally. Crocodiles can gallop. Like a horse. I don't like knowing this so I am cursing you people with this knowledge as well. Fortunately alligators cannot. So that's how you tell them apart. They used real corpses in the 1982 film Poltergeist, for the ending pool scene. The actress did not know until after the scene was filmed. Not just Poltergeist, but up until the last few decades actual skeletons and bodies were used in Hollywood productions simply because it was cheaper than hiring prop guys to do it. Any old movie you watch, chances are the skeletons are real because you could saunter into any old medical supply store and buy a whole disused skeleton from a university medical department for a reasonable price. Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. Well that escalated quickly. 
How could anyone possibly know this? A single tiger has killed over 436 people in India. How many has a married tiger killed? There are upwards of 300 active serial killers in the world. Seems low honestly. 300 is a lot but out of 8 billion? Famous last words though. The part that's insane to me is that people like BTK and Willie Picton were caught post 2000, but were active for a long time decades prior. To me that means there have to be some people out there today that have a high body count and haven't been caught yet. According to Abe Lincoln's bodyguard Crook, he said Lincoln had a dream about his own assassination three nights in a row before he was killed. Crook told Lincoln not to go on that fateful night, and all Lincoln said was goodbye, Crook before he went to the play. This was very odd as Lincoln always said, good night not goodbye. The last witness to Lincoln's assassination was interviewed on TV in the 1950s. Albert Fish, the serial killer, loved eating poop. I feel like that's the least creepy thing about Albert Fish. Sense of impending doom is an actual symptom that often precludes your death, usually in cases of heart attack. Very creepy for some of us that suffer from anxiety and panic attacks to begin with, both share that symptom. I have a heart condition, and sometimes I'll feel a weird beat, then I will feel that horrible sense of impending doom. It is such a horrible feeling. Since 2007, at least 20 detached human feet have been found on the coasts of the Salish Sea. And then Teres the hands with 27 pairs of them. Of course, Kira is the first comment on the post. Most people smell different when they're awake. That's my favorite thing to whisper. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.